Diary. Hello, it is the end of April 2024 and if you are a Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro owner and possibly other Galaxy Book owners, you may want to watch this video if you have the irritating fan noise on sleep problem. So I'm going to show you the solution and then I'm going to ramble around a bit more. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro. It's not the 360, so it doesn't have a touch screen. And when I close the lid and the machine should be in sleeping mode on Windows 11 Pro, what happens? The fan spins. <laughs> Turns it again. And again. So when the laptop is put into sleep mode, the fan, the cooling fan, starts to spin every few seconds. And it is absolutely, unbelievably annoying. And not the least of which is going to flatten the battery. So it's, it threatened to turn my new Samsung, lap, Samsung laptop purchase into a nightmare. I thought I had the perfect laptop. And what is the fix? Well, there's a workaround. And we'll come to how I found it, etc. in a second in more detail. So there's the laptop. I'm, I'm logging in via my fingerprint. Uh, you'll see with power CFG slash A, as various uh, states are, are listed. Are you ready for the workaround? Use the Samsung program here, the quick settings panel, and you go to performance mode. Instead of changing it to silent, you change it to anything else. So I'm going to change it to quiet. And that is flipping it. Now if I close the lid, there will not be a fan noise and the laptop will sleep well and the battery will not be depleted because every few seconds the fan is not spinning. Okay, so that's all you need to know. If you'd like to just hear me ramble on a bit more, I would uh, appreciate it. So this again is the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro. There are now version three, the Pro 3, and there's also Pro 4, and the slightly higher spec models like the Ultra. Uh, I chose this one because it's not the current generation, but it has most of the speed of the current generation. Plus, this machine has a plastic body. And because of its plastic body, it's very light. It's lighter than the Gen 3 and Gen 4, which I guess are more robust because they've got a metal chassis. And I'm, I'm slightly envious of that fact, but when you pick this laptop up and realize how light it is, you think, is that a trade-off that I'm prepared to make? Um, this laptop is also the 15 inch version. It's the Pro, not the Pro 360, meaning to say it doesn't have a touch screen, but the 15 inch laptops have space for two hard drives. So I amazingly bought this laptop with one hard drive and I took the old hard drive out of my old laptop, which was a Lenovo, it wasn't even a Samsung, and I amazingly got it to work. Now, when I first got this laptop, the installed Windows 11 on this laptop from Samsung didn't have the sleep fan noise issue, but my Lenovo uh, installed and migrated to Samsung Windows 11 Pro did have the issue. And so I thought it was just a software configuration. And I, uh, but for the fact that, that that NVMe drive has got three or four different operating systems on it, literally, and a very complex partition layout, I would have reinstalled Windows 11 Pro. But that Windows 11 Pro has seen, you know, two years of modification. So I was extremely resistant to try and change it, but I felt it was something to do without Windows configuration. And then lo and behold, I was using the Samsung installed Windows 11 Pro, <clears throat> not my version. And some other fan noise started on that as well. So I realized it wasn't necessarily my installation of Windows 11 Pro that there was a problem, but even the Samsung version of Windows 11 had the same issue, <coughs> which led me to, after just trial and error, find the solution, which again is using the Samsung program. You go to the Samsung program, the quick settings program, and turn this on 
to anything other than, ironically, anything other than silence. So in silent mode, you have the problem, the fan noise every few seconds. In any of the other modes, you don't have the problem. How about that? Anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you for, for listening to my extra bits and bobs, but uh, I felt it was worth saying. Thanks. Bye.